Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 2. We are still traversing the whole of Heroes. Heroes! And we are about halfway through. Ooh, take a deep breath. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you're all ready to finish up this intense, crazy location. Um, as you can see, traipsing around the corner is a, uh, a Bulbman Mama. Mama! We will, of course, kind of sadly be dispatching it. I don't know why, but it always kind of uh, bums me out a little bit that we have to go and kill it. But, you know, it is what it is. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to try to avoid using the captain as... Not the captain. Um, the president as much as I can. As I switch right to him. Because he's low on health. And so, obviously, you're going to hear a lot of this bing-bonging. Which is not ideal. Get rid of the purples. You'll see what I'm going to be doing here in a moment. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Uh, this is a uh, doodle bug. So, if you remember these guys, when you bonk into them, they uh, will fart out <laughs> delicious potions. And then they will disappear forever. Just like me. So, there you go. It's a good way to flower up your Pikmin with some nectar and to grab some, uh, some potions. You'll want as many potions as you can get, trust me. So, now that we are out and about... I'm gonna go ahead and actually go after Mama here. She is, for some reason, stuck going against the wall. Hello, Mom? It's like me when I'm at the grocery store. Mom, where are you? I don't have enough money to pay for this candy bar. All right. Can you please stop clipping into the wall? All you gotta do is walk this way, and then I'm gonna kill you. And then I'm gonna take your babies. All right, here we go. Get your purples ready and begin the process of murder and acquisition of Boldman. So once again, you can, um, of course, turn the Boldman into whatever you want to. If you have a queen candy pop bud, which there should be one around here. I think it's lurking back there. I'm actually gonna take the captain, do a little exploring. See if there's another doodle bug. I think there's probably two. And once again, don't accidentally take the geyser out because you'll have to start all over. But, um, yeah, I would, I would recommend using the queen candy pot, but of course, just in general, it's always good to restock your, your squad, but you're going to be asking yourself, what should I fill them with? Wow. There's the other doodle bug. There's two of them in this in this dungeon. I love that sound. I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously, you know, we're all children at heart, right? But uh, I'm a child at heart who loves the sound of a fart. I cannot help it. It is hilarious to me, and I will never change. So anyway, all right, let's go ahead and use our Boldman. Let's split up so I don't accidentally um, toss a purple in there. But uh, you're going to want to. You know, the thought process, at least for somebody who's following my playthrough here, might be, oh, like, you've lost a lot of red and purple Pikmin. Maybe it would be good to have a bunch of them. Well, with what's actually coming up, it's best to get blue Pikmin. You don't have to trust me on that one if you don't want to. But I am going to get a little bit of both. Um, I don't need this many Boldmen. I'll probably do... This is all that you get, though, so... You get nine. Or 10 total, obviously. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and make five more reds. That's all you get out of these uh, crimson candy pop buds. Or red, or whatever they're called. So go ahead and make five more reds. We've got the blues, the seven blues, eight blues that came from that. And then I'm going to hold on to these Boldman for the... Um, the next time there's a probably going to be candy pop buds, but I will just tell you in advance, you'll want a lot of blue Pikmin. If you don't have a lot of blue Pikmin, um, you're going to be kind of SOL 
with what's going to be coming up in a few floors. So just trust me or don't. Let's move on. Okay, viewers, this is when uh, the gloves start to come off. I say that every time that there's a tough floor, but I'm not joking with this one at least. Um, this is pretty tough, and the game definitely um, isn't messing around. This is kind. Of, this is this this part of the uh, of the cave will be really frustrating. Um, the one big trouble that we're gonna have is that spotty bull bear he's the one coming up the uh well i think it's actually stuck down there hopefully it's stuck yes so you got the spotty bull bear that as an enemy will always regenerate its health and i believe that's actually the one of the many bull blacks varieties that um that that does that does uh ah, sorry it's one of the it's the only bull blacks variety that does that does i don't know what i'm trying to say right now i'm absolutely dumbfounded um yeah this is tough because it can walk through the walls a little bit and eat your pikmin through the walls you don't want that obviously um it's gonna wake up the hairy bull bull, bull, bull bear i don't know what any of these are called um it's been so long but yeah it'll wake them up where is it exactly? I feel like it's hiding. Oh, he's over there. If you can get it to go down in the um into the little pit there, into the sink, that helps. The only Pikmin who can take out the fiery bull blacks, of course, are um your reds. So keep that in mind. Yeah, you can take out the little ones at least with punching. They're not really much of a threat. But you're definitely going to want to take out the spotty bull bear very carefully because it does a lot of damage and um, it uh, will regenerate the health. So you don't want that, obviously. I'm going to try to distract it over here. If I can get it to come over this way with one of the captains, in this case the prison, you can normally get it uh, stuck against the wall. Position yourself this way. You can just kind of cheese it a little bit. I don't know. But, um. Yeah, we got the. I'm trying to see if I can get the, um. The hairy bull. bull I don't know what it's called. It, it look, I mean, it, whatever. It looks hairy to me. If I can get the hairy bull bear to, um. To come over here. I can kill these guys real quick. Try not to wake up the fiery bull blacks. That one is, of course, very scary. Oh, so he's trapped against it. Okay, maybe not. Well, in that case, we will kill the the only normal of the bull blacks. I, I think the spotty bull bear is the one that actually does have the um the treasure inside it. There's a treasure inside of all of us. Um, or maybe it's the fiery bull blacks. Lure you over here. Yeah, distracting the bosses is usually a pretty good way to go. Oh boy, run. Oh, run. Oh, uh, he's coming hot. Oh, he's coming hot. Switch to reds real quick. It's the only way to do this. And then I like to use the, um, I like to use the bitter spray, of course, to... Yes. No, 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 stop. And it shoots out nectar, apparently. I didn't know that. Yeah, this. I think this is the only treasure in this floor. So, not really much to worry about once you get past this point. Looks like a can opener of sorts. I think we'll see what the game calls it, of course. I just love that this body bull bear's like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. The Dimensional Slicer. Okay. All right, cool. As far as I know, that's the only treasure on this floor, so you don't really need to do anything else. And to avoid any sort of chaos, um, I'm just gonna take the whites with me because they're the fastest and we can sneak around the outside 
we have to start hammering away at this um at this wall. Yeah, I don't think the uh I don't think the the hairy one's gonna be too interested. It's gonna be trying to get our Pikmin through the wall, which it can't, because it's a big old dummy. But once our white Pikmin can tear down the exit wall, we'll be okay. And I know that it seems kind of cheap to do it this way, but honestly, with how tough this dungeon is, I don't care. And if you don't like it, you can just get out. It's pretty actually pretty effective, actually. So as you can tell. I'm just going to try to avoid switching to the captain. Sorry, the president keep messing that up as much as possible just because of the low health being really annoying. All right, good. So that should allow us to move on to the next floor. Let's do it. Okay. Moving forward. This is where we begin the boss gauntlet, the previously fought boss gauntlet. We will have four sets of, or two sets of eyeballs hanging down here at us. We all, we always know what those are. I'm actually gonna come over here really quick because these are some mites that will cause the fights to get really awkward. I'm a poet and I wasn't aware of it. So go ahead and just aggro those. Use the president against the emperor. Power against power. Get your Pikmin ready. Okay, pretty good, pretty fast. Not too bad. Unfortunately, though, um, that is not the one that has the treasure. This one is. So aggro this guy. Might have to re-potion your Pikmin, unfortunately. Get him to turn around real quick. And then hit him right in the face. We might be able to get in one cycle. We did. It's kind of funny that you see he's got Pikmin in his mouth, but it doesn't count. And then if you want your Pikmin to take him back, obviously you can. I don't know if these are worth anything. I think that it's like maybe 10 or 15 Pokos, which is kind of lame, given how much you have to deal with that. Yeah, that's a pretty fast floor. The treasure gyro block. I think this is actually one of the things that was used with... Um, one of those Rob the Computer toys that came with the uh, the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Actually, I don't care about any of that, so we're just going to move along and head down for more boss shenanigans. Okay. Prepare yourselves. This is probably... Um, easily my least favorite fight in this entire cave. Um, you'll see why in a second. Obviously, it's because of these things. I don't have a good track record. Track record, track record cannot talk. That's how frustrated I am. These things. Um, they're really annoying. And obviously, detrimental to my health. I'm going to try to aggro them. If you can position one of your captains in a good spot, they should come for you. Or not. Hello. Get the captain to be safe here, but I need my purples and my reds, obviously. The president passes out, then that's okay, but I need my, um, need to hurry up in the meantime. Sneak right past you. No, get him. Get these guys real quick. But we need to, uh, not have any of our Pikmin get eaten yet. I'm gonna run right past you. President is just getting bamboozled, so. Nope. All right, so let's go ahead and attack the queen. Should be a good amount of damage. Let's go ahead and be careful here and run back. Run back to the to the wall. Trust me on this one. This one should be dead. Yeah, run back to the wall. There are falling rocks. They will kill your Pikmin. And while we still have... Oh, President's dead. Oops. Sorry, bud. That's okay. There's not really a whole, like, a big need for uh, a dual a dual strategy. But I do need to get my Pikmin back so I don't crush them. Some casualties, of course. Alright. Just get ready to attack again. This fight 
One of my least favorites, of course. Almost done with it, though. All right, Pikmins. Don't get crushed. Run away. Okay. Pretty good, actually. Should be safe in here. And she's just got a little bit of health left, so. All right, let me do some surveillance here. Okay, so that wasn't horrible. Not a great fight, but not a bad one. See how many blues we got? Yeah, you want to have a lot of blues to end this fight. The rest of the colors of the Pikmin don't really matter. Um, your blues and your purples, of course, you you know you want to prioritize those two colors the rest of the way. I don't know how many of each I have. That wasn't the best version of that fight, but you know. Okay. Whew, the favorite gyro block. You only get 15 for killing one of the biggest enemies in the game? Lame. All right. Well, not horrible, not great, but I'll take it. Okay, here we go. Floor floor 12, I almost said four. It's a multiple of that. I think this might be another a uh, another rest floor. This might be the last rest floor, I think, actually. Oop, there's a doodle bug and a glint beetle. We want the glint beetle, actually. There we go, that's where our treasure is. Go ahead and get him. Let's go ahead and get the gl Oh! He killed himself. See ya. He's like, bye. I'm out of here. All right, see if this is a potion or a nectar. Nectar, not bad. If you can't tell, all the prizes in here are related to Rob. The lost gyro block. I think Rob came with four of them. Of varying colors. Got a white, a green. Oh, there's the... Stinky one that will poison our Pikmin. We do want to attack it if we can, carefully. Not knocking our Pikmin off the edge, of course. We don't want that. But you don't want your Pikmin to get poisoned either, so... Both results are bad. There we go. You guys are fine. Quit your belly aching. Alright, so that replenishes our bitter spray, which is nice. That should hopefully, um... Perk you up a little bit, and I'm actually gonna, once again, I mentioned this, probably should have gotten rid of more of my bulb men before, because I thought there'd be more opportunities to do it, but there might just be these. As you can tell, we have a queen candy pop bud, and we're gonna do blue Pikmin again. It'll all make sense in a little bit. Just trust me. Okay, so I believe that should be, if I'm not mistaken, That should be all of the rest and relaxations you're getting out of this one. Which is not much, unfortunately. There's a little bit of nectar, but, you know, whatever. Okay. I think that's it. So if that's the case, we are going to continue to move on and prepare for some of the hardest bosses in the games. Here we go. Oh, take a deep breath for this one. Um, you're definitely going to want to have a lot of blue Pikmin. If you see what that is. Oh yeah, you know what that is. That, my friends, is the man at arms, or man at legs, and say arms. Um, I don't know if there's a good place to hide my Pikmin. But hold on a second. Let me take a little quick peep around here before get too excited yeah this is why I told you that you're gonna want blue Pikmin because you're gonna be fighting it um, in the water so you know you don't have to do that if you don't want I guess but just a recommendation um, I'm gonna try to break up my squad and get all my blues ready I think I have a lot of them I should have somewhere close to like 30 or 40 I guess you get your Boldman too if you're into that but I just want blues only blue only blue only blues. How many do I got? 
The downside to this is that blues are uh, not particularly good at fighting, so just something to keep in mind. Remember the president? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I'm going to use the remainder of my time here and tuck my Pikmin very closely packed into this area. Of course not. Yellows, thanks. Just gonna toss you back into here. Nudge you inside. I don't know if that's a good spot for them at all. But uh, yeah, here we go. Here goes nothing. Let's go ahead and spray our blues. And let's go! I hate this fight with every fiber of my being. As you can tell, blue Pikmin are already not great for this uh, juncture. Thankfully, I can't shoot over the walls, but you would think that it would be um, walls that were taller than this. All right, so it's overheated now. So we should be able to get some of the Pikmin off. Pull them back. Get ready for the lasers. Oh, you're dead. Well, that blue Pikmin did not survive. Okay, so another cooldown. Another spray. It's really hard to get your Pikmin to <laughs> cooperate here. It's like a, when you get stuck on the platform, you're not really tall enough to hit it well. All right, well, we're gonna keep running, obviously. Run, 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 run. Yeah, it's not gonna be able to hit us against the wall here. Hopefully it'll come this way. Okay, cool down, more cool down. Get your Pikmin up there to fight it. Just about done. Oh boy. Run. Oh, he's killing my blues. Killing my blues. All right. Well, casualties of war, unfortunately. Come back here. I'm like not hitting it, unfortunately. Come on. Get it. We're just about done. Come on. All right, that was good. Not a great fight, but a done fight. You know, I mean, we had an abundance of blues anyway, so that's not really a huge deal. Um, I'm honestly curious to see how many Pikmin I'll be able to survive with by the end of this thing. It's probably not a very good number, but, you know. Another block down. Okay. The memorable gyro block. Alright, so that was pretty good. Let's uh, continue on. Okay, here we go. Two more floors. Oh boy. Well, this is annoying. Um, have a massive amount of dweebles here. Which is of course going to make this upcoming fight that we're about to do, if you can't guess what it is. I don't want to tell you. Um, it's actually probably recommended that you do go and... I know this is kind of once again cheesing the fight, but uh... I got a beady long legs here, which is really annoying. Um, not super fun to fight, especially considering that my squad has been kind of dilapidated, but uh, this could be a chance to use your yellows. So I can get on mine. All right, so it's slow moving, thankfully. And if we could get it to lower its bulb here. We do have the Dweebles to contend with, which are really annoying, but... Yeah, we need to come closer. I think I should be able to use a Bitter Spray on it. Which is helpful. Get your Pikmin up on the Bulb. I'm just gonna keep uh, using Bitter Spray on it, because I have no reason not to. I want my Pikmin to do more damage than this, but they're not. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep trying to get my yellows up there. Stop drowning in the process, you ding-dongs. Alright, and then we'll move back. Wait for it to lower the bulb again. We might actually be able to use all of our Pikmin once it does that. Ooh, that's a horrible rattling sound. Thanks, game. Alright, and then, you know, whatever. I'm just going to use everybody I have to see if I can speed this process up. 
This might work. Oh, uh, just about. Okay, I did. It did work. And the prize is here. I'm trying to conserve a little bit of my sprays for the final, final boss, which is going to be a mess. It's actually going a little bit better than I thought that it would. The Fawn Gyro Block. I'm fond of that color. Okay. So go ahead and split your squad up and head down and prepare yourselves for this cave's finale. Okay. The final floor that separates the heroes from the non-heroes. This final fight is a doozy, I'm telling you. This is actually going to be my first time ever doing it. Even on camera. But go ahead and use some nectar if you want. Um, I'm going to toss my Pikmin off here for a second. Um, as you can see, there are jelly floats in here. Which are really annoying. So my recommendation is that you aggro them first. Remember, these are ones that won't hurt you. I think they can like very, very, very slowly eat your Pikmin, but the odds of that happening are probably pretty low. So just prepare yourselves. I think there might be uh, refreshments behind these gates. Yeah. So they go from giving you like all kinds of Bulblaxes and Snagrits, the Raging Bloisters to deal with, and then you have to go through the um, the long legs family. So yeah, see if you can lure the uh, lure these things to you. They're not hard to kill, thankfully. They will suck your Pikmin up, but they can't do any damage to you. I mean, unless you really take a long time and you suck. But I'm just telling you in advance. Go after these things now. Kill them now. Um, use a spray if you need it. Whatever you got. They do have a lot of HP, so... You're gonna want to get rid of the Jelly Floats, though. They are really obnoxious and will only serve to be a distraction for you. So get the greater jelly floats are obviously the most annoying because of their abundance of HP, but you know, they're ultimately very harmless. And that's it. Um, I didn't see if there were any more. But uh, yeah, this this final part of this dungeon is just kind of like a Give it your all. Oh, there's one more. Let's see if I can lure him this way. This is kind of a give it your all. I'm trying very carefully not to aggro the boss yet. You'll get to see it in time. Don't worry. Come with me. Come with me and you'll see a world of pure annihilation. All right. Yeah, the boss is waiting up there. I know it. Don't worry. I don't want to have to deal with the jelly float, though. After the fact, just trust me on this one. This boss is kind of ridiculous. It's not quite as ridiculous as the variant that we've seen in Pikmin 3. The Pikmin 3 version is obviously more annoying. I don't know. Camera's being real wonky right now. Where are you? There you are. Come over here. Come over here. It's like Shadow keeps disappearing with the sprite. What do I have to do to get your attention, bud? Come on. Here's some yummy Pikmin for you. Hey, yum, 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 yum. All right, there we go. I think that should do fine without aggroing the boss, I think. Yeah, you get the four jelly floats. Taking them out, obviously, is the key to having the best result. I don't know why they put them in this fight, because they're not related to the boss in any way. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get my Pikmin out of the way. And I'm a big old dummy who didn't convert the rest of my Bulbman I should have. So just leave one Bulbman with your group. Just to give you guys a heads up when you're doing your final uh, assortment using the Candy Pops. Alright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, let's do this. Okay, my friends. This is the Raging Long Legs. So this thing can roar at you. It can stomp its big old feet. And it has a ton of HP. So you can use whatever Pikmin you want. You just have to attack its big sack. 
Get your Pikmin out of the way. That's a lot of them lost, but you just gotta keep moving. You can attack its feet as well. Probably gonna lose a ton of Pikmin in this fight. Oh, it's mad. It's raging. We're gonna attack the stack again. Do as many Pikmin as I can hit the button as fast as I can. It has a ton of health. I'm gonna run away. Hopefully not lose so many of my Pikmin in the process. And then keep at it. Just gonna keep hammering away. With all the Pikmin I got. At this point, you just gotta go for broke. Yes! Had like the majority of my Pikmin die just there, but you know. The raging long legs is no more. Okay, we did it. Not the cleanest uh, cave, but I'm not gonna pretend like I'm amazing at this game, so. I survived, and that's what matters. Feeling pretty good about it. I've seen people that do zero death runs, and I'm just like, how? I probably could if I was being really careful and like, actually trying to be strategic, but you know, that's for the boids. All right, the remembered old buddy. This is the uh, head of Rob, actually. So get a good look at that. And now, my friends, is the cave complete? Let's go ahead and get the absolute heck out of here, jeez. We lost 91 Pikmin, oh my goodness. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, all 13 treasures in the uh, Hole of Heroes. My goodness. Ooh, all right. Take a deep breath, collect ourselves. We were victorious, after all, with the president being very dead. And it's actually the middle of the day. Um, let's take some time to to just kind of unwind for a moment. We did a, a lot of work. A lot of Pikmin were unfortunately sacrificed in that cave. That was not the best. I'm actually going to put away all of my uh, Pikmin besides white Pikmin. And <laughs> I just, I, I get a big kick out of whenever the president's dead like that. Um, just that way I don't have to spend too much time additionally. I'm probably going to do a uh, an off screen day where I go and uh, get more more potions and stuff like that. Because obviously I used a lot of them just now. So I'm going to try to actually nectar up my white Pikmin here because they're the fastest and they make this process easier. So yeah, we'll take a little bit of time here just to, um, to decompress. We've got about half the day to see how many of these we can grab. Each of these plants, when they are fully disestablished, can uh, pop out bitter and spicy berries. So it's taking them a long time. Let's go. Keep trying to switch to the president, but I cannot because he's dead. Very dead. Matt is taking a ton. Come on, boys. I don't think that I'm even remotely close to having enough uh, berries to... to make this happen. While I'm over here, I actually might want to see if... Um, kind of want to grab some more Pikmin. It is taking them a hot second to do that. So maybe I'll grab some reds. I think I have the most reds. Let me check this real quick. Most blues, actually. Let's go ahead and do blues. That's fine. We'll fill out the rest of our squad with blues. I just need Pikmin that can carry stuff at this point. I don't really care who they are. That sounds a little rude. But you know what I'm saying. We only have 515 of these Pikmin. That's a halfway point. Let's get all of our Pikmin down here. Gotta watch out for the grubs, of course. They are the ones that will eat your um, your berry haul. All right, and we'll use the whites over here. I wanna see where that final treasure is. I actually might be able to grab it. I don't remember where it is, unfortunately. This is where the Hole of Heroes was. 
I know what the final treasure is. I just don't know how to get to it. There's the final cave over there. Might actually be advantageous to open it up today if I can. We've got the got the pond opened up. Okay, we're just doing a little exploring right now. There's the final cave over here. Um, yeah, I don't need you. Oh, the treasure's in here. Uh, I do need blue Pikmin actually. So that's what that was smart of me. Coincidence. It's typically how that typ that's typically how that works. Is that if something I do is smart, it's a coincidence. So, all right. So we got our blue Pikmin here. Some of them got stuck, which is fine. Actually, don't really. This would be a nice time to have two captains. You know, this is one of those times. Have our uh, Pikmin over here. I don't really care who it is. Just get up there. Get up that long shaft. Redeem yourselves. Actually, we'll, I will uh, section off the whites. Hopefully my Pikmin are smart enough to go get them themselves. But I do want to carry that uh, final treasure away. If I can do it before the end of this episode, that'd be nice. Then I can just start with... The final cave next time. Can you believe that, viewers? We're on to the final cave already. Where's my... Okay, you guys are just unnectared. That's why you're taking forever. Like a bunch of noobs! All right, that's okay. So can I get over this way? Maybe I can go around. Can I go over this one? Yes, okay. Yeah, having two captains here would have been really smart. It's a shame I didn't do that. My bad. Okay, so the final treasure is down this way, and you are asleep, and now you're petrified, so I'm going to go ahead and kill you with my blues. I'm going to come back eventually and actually um, get uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of sprays and stuff like that, but your blue picking are the ones that are obviously going to carry this across the pond for you. Probably need to be a little careful though. I don't know if they'll be having enough time to take this bag. We'll find out. Probably would make more sense to do, uh. It'll kill you too. I'm in a killing mood right now. I don't know if I have enough time to do any of the things I want to do. I did not. I did not plan any of this, by the way, so if you're wondering why it's all kind of dumb, well, this is why, because I'm doing a very dumb approach. Oh, they won't carry it unless it's across the... What? You're blue Pikmin. You can carry it in the water. Well, help out. Probably would make more sense to have you guys doing this in the meantime. Let's build that bridge, boys. All right, that's good. You're all done. All right, cool. And then we will have you carry these back. I don't know if any of my Pikmin are actually still going and collecting berries. Probably not, because my spray counter is not going up. Yeah, I don't need you to do any of that. Oh, there's one of those dumb snitch bugs. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm winging this right now. My brain's a little frizz frazzled from that crazy dungeon, so. And I'm actually gonna just call my blues off right here. I'll come get them when we're getting close to the end of the day. And my Pikmin are not getting any berries. It's one of the problems with this game is the AI for uh, for this is not great. And that's okay. You know, I'll come back on a, uh, I'll do an off screen day where I, I collect all this all these Pikmin on my own. All right, I should have the Pikmin here. Some of them are being buried. That's the final treasure, actually. Pretty exciting. The anti-hiccup fungus. All right, and then if I go back to base, I don't know if it was 15 of them, but there might be 15 Pikmin here. Well, but one, you know what? The cost of doing business. We are going to go to Sunset. I have had enough of this day.
That is it for us. This is the second to last time you'll get to see us taken off, viewers. Enjoy it. You know, just had a lot of Pikmin I lost. That's okay, classic. Don't worry about it, viewers. Lately, I've been getting a ton of mail from a strange person selling designer items at cut rate prices. It sounds like a deal. Should I send them your bonus truck? Boy, you better not do that. You don't do it. All right. Well, viewers, we now have all the above ground treasures. We have completed two out of three of the final caverns. And next time, we'll be doing the final dungeon of this game. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.